ProBuilder is a really cool and really useful tool for Unity, especially for prototyping. So today we're gonna take a look at its scripting API and how we can use its scripting API to create a custom mesh at runtime like this one, which is reminiscent of an ocean surface. But before we do that, we first have to take a look at this image. What we're looking at is a simple quad. It has four vertices and two triangles. The vertices in our case are labeled from zero to three. And when creating a triangle, it is important to list the vertices in clockwise order to keep it facing in a correct direction. In our case, an example of such a correct way of listing it would be 0, 2, 1 and 2, 3, 1. Now keeping this in mind, let's go to Visual Studio Code and create our first one-sided quad. In our create mesh script, we first have to put using UnityEngine.ProBuilder before moving on just so we have access to all of the custom classes. Now once we have done that, we put the public material quad material right over here so we can assign it in our inspector and then we go to the start method that's called by Unity. Over here we have three methods, we have disabled two of them because we're going to focus on one at a time and we do not want a mess on our screen. Now in our single sided quad method, we first create a single sided quad obviously. So how do we do that? We go pro builder mesh, which is a mesh of type pro builder and we're gonna call it quad. We're gonna assign it to the return value of this create function from the ProBuilder mesh class, and let's see what we have to give it. We have to give it a list of positions, which is just the list of vertices, and we have to give it a list of faces, which is just our triangles. So as you can see over here, we give it four vector threes, which are the four vertices we have mentioned earlier. We give it 000, 100, 010, and 110. The uh, last zero one is just the z-axis and we're just going to keep that zero all of the time. The next thing we do is we create the faces. So we create two faces and as you can see it's zero to one, just like on the image in the clockwise order. And the next one is two, three, one, exactly the same like on the image in clockwise order. The next thing we have to do is we have to set the material to it and then we have to first pass it some stuff. So we have to pass it a list of faces and then we have to pass on the material we want to assign it to. Now we want to assign the material to all faces, so we just go quad.faces and then put the quad material. We refresh the material and then we put it to mesh. So let's see how this looks in Unity. And there we go, we have a quad and as you can see it has exactly two faces as I have turned on the shaded wireframe mode. And if we go to the back, there's nothing, so it's only one-sided. So now that we have that, let's make it two-sided, which is really simple and it's just a little bit of an upgrade from this point. Back in uh, our create mesh script, I have added four more vertices. And in this case, I'm just gonna add four more because that's just an easier way to do it. Just duplicate the geometry and then you can have an easy two-sided quad. It's not the most optimized way, but it's definitely the simplest, at least in my opinion. <laughs> Tell me in the comments if I'm wrong. And now we have four faces. We have the two original faces from the single-sided quad and we have the two new additional faces. So now if we comment this line out and we put this line in our code, we're gonna see what happens in Unity. And there we go, we have the quad. Now from this side, it looks exactly the same. It has two faces, but if we go, whoops, if we go to this side, you can see that we have another face. So it's a two-faced quad. And it works, I mean, four phase, but you know, it's it looks good on both sides. So now that we have all of the basics that we need, we can go in and create our little ocean surface. I won't go into too much detail about the ocean code because it's just a random plane generation with random height. But what I will tell you is that I have created a bunch of vertices. I've given them random height right over here. And then I've created a list of faces and I've iterated through the uh, all the faces that I have to do, I did it two by two because I like it that way much better for some reason, just more natural to me to do quad by quad. If you don't want to do that, that's perfectly fine. You can do face by face, but this is how I did it. And then after I have created the faces, I have added them to the list of faces. As previously, uh, I have passed the list of vertices and face to the ProBuilder mesh.create method. I've set the material to all of the faces and then I have simply refreshed and put it to mesh. So let's see how that works out once more. And there we go, we have a little plane which is a little bit bumpy and I think it looks really, really cool. 
Now, the possibilities with this are endless. You can create any type of mesh you want if you know what you're doing. Pro Builder is a really, really cool tool. I encourage you to use it for prototyping, for speed development. It can really help you out. And if you have any questions, I encourage you to leave them in the comments below. I will try to answer as many as I can. And I hope you will all come back for the next video. Goodbye.